I guess he wants us to rest up while we can. Gramps is actually a pretty considerate guy, huh? Well, since we're here, should we put on Yukata and go to the festival? <laughs> Yukata. Uh, I can't help but think of our disastrous fireworks festival last year when we got rained on. That's why we're gonna do it right this time. Besides, we didn't have Futaba or Haru with us back then. Count me in. Going to a festival in Yukata sounds wonderful. Then we got a plan. Sophia, find us a shop that sells Yukata. I've got four hits. Allow me to direct you. Dude, check out all the boots! As one might expect from Sendai's Tanabata Festival. It's quite lively here. Apparently, the locals call it Tanabata-san. And it's said to have originated from back in Date Masamune's time. Hey, that's the dude from the statue, huh? He is not a dude. He's Lord Date Masamune, the one-eyed dragon of ocean. Jeez, what are you, his retainer or something? Oh, there are so many booths. It's hard to pick what to see first. What do you think? Ah, yes. Perhaps it's our experience with them in the metaverse, but we always manage to catch them. Telling me, I already bought one. Reminds me of when I was a kid. Speaking of which, are those guys here yet? It takes time for a lady to get ready. They're not unrefined apes like the rest of you. Who are you calling an ape? You're the unrefined one, you furball. Well, this furball's got claws, you bonehead! Sorry for the wait. Lady On, you look absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> Thanks, Morgana. Sorry, tying the Obi took quite some time. Stop staring so much. It's embarrassing. Absolutely picturesque. You've brought us a much needed air of refinement. Yeah, according to someone, we're about as unrefined as it gets. Wow, Ryuji, that looks really good on you. Even better than your school uniform. You don't gotta try and make me feel better. You made a good choice with that mask, though. Yellow's a good match for this season. I bought a water balloon myself. You gotta get one when you go to a festival. Water balloon? Oh, you mean a yo-yo. No, isn't that called a water yo-yo? Uh, wait a sec. I thought it was yo-yo balloon. No, it's a water balloon. What do you call it? So, which is it? <laughs> Looks like everyone's having a good time. We should have a little fun ourselves. Why don't we check out the food stands and get something to eat? Uh, sure. I was starting to get hungry since everything smells so good. Look, they've got all the staples. Yakisoba, yakitori, shaved ice. We've even got cognac skewers. Those are huge in Tohoku. What are we waiting for? Charge! Come on, we should get going too. I'm starving. Hell yeah. Let's start from one end and get one of everything. It feels as if we're forgetting the spirit of Tanabata. Though, I have no objections. I want to see more of the festival, too. Show me how to catch goldfish. <laughs> that was so good. Cognac skewers, Ishinomaki yakisoba, Zunda cider. We basically ate our way through Sendai. And it was amazing. Got to hand it to old man Masamune. He is one cool dude. That's lord to you. Did I do it right, Yusuke? Am I that predictable? Catching goldfish seems difficult. Is there some sort of secret to catching one? Try to stay calm, then strike without hesitation. The trick is to catch them once you've read their movements. Wow, that's impressive, Mako-chan. I see. We'll get it next time. You're getting a call from Zenkichi. Yo, you guys having fun? 
Oh, yeah? Good to hear. Listen, I wanted to ask you guys a favor. I'm already investigating in Sapporo, but before you leave Sendai, I'd like you to stop by Toho University. Tomorrow, there's going to be a session at the Mount Aoba campus. Not that kind of session. The CEO of Medis is holding a lecture there. I'm still looking into them at the moment, but the more info we have, the better. I'd like you to attend the lecture in my place. I'm glad you get it. And just so we're clear, don't draw any unnecessary attention to yourselves. Just go and see if the CEO says anything strange. His name is Akira Konoe. If he looks like a capable CEO, I'll give him that. Anyway, I'm gonna be counting on you kids. And again, try not to get carried away, all right? So what did he want? Let me get this straight. This guy's running the company that made Emma? This might be a good opportunity to learn something new. Hmm. I suppose we'll find out at the lecture tomorrow morning. Guess break time's over. Time to get back to work. As you all know, Life is just an ongoing series of daily decisions. What's for breakfast? What should I wear today? Every day begins with these insignificant little dilemmas. But then there comes a time to decide your field of study, your place of employment, who you're going to marry. And it's these choices that matter. Yes, people are always looking for the best choice or the correct answer. Madis seeks to provide it for everyone through the power of AI. Emma is a state-of-the-art AI designed to integrate itself into our everyday lives by gathering and analyzing extraordinary amounts of data with perfect precision, Emma can help everyone make the best choices. Capable CEO seems pretty spot on. Wow, he's so composed. He's practically overflowing with confidence. Look how clearly he states his company's outlook and principles. He's got everyone's attention. You're right. He's not saying anything particularly suspicious, though. Well, thanks to Emma, Medisa's stocks have shot way up. You can bet they're one of Japan's biggest enterprises right now. That said, I feel like a company with this much going for it wouldn't have much to gain from changing people's hearts. Perhaps, but that doesn't change the fact that Emma is still a key factor in the jails. It is through Emma that people are allowed access. Right. Medisa is connected to all of this one way or another, be it directly or indirectly. Hey, do you think there's a real culprit behind all of this? Like, some kind of mastermind? I think so, too. Even if we beat the monarchs, change their hearts, and free everyone's desires, the jails don't disappear. There's gotta be something keeping them here. So you're saying the real culprit's the one doing that? I don't know. But do you remember how even the monarchs themselves didn't know much about Emma? That's right. Alice and Natsume said the same things in their testimony. Are you really the Phantom Thieves of Hearts? What? You're the woman from the Beef Tongue restaurant. Oh, Ichinose-san, right? You heard all that? Well, the thing is, I'm really good at picking up when a cat meows. Honestly, I found that way more interesting than Kanoe's lecture. Mona! Me? But you guys are the ones she overheard! The hell are we gonna do? Whoa, stop, stop. It's alright. This place will be closing up soon. Let's talk more outside. mentioned Alice and Natsume, I imagine you were referring to Alice Hiragi and Ango Natsume from the press conferences, yes? Is it safe to assume those were your doing? Oh, and what was that about Emma giving people access to jails? 
Oh, is that related to everyone's hearts getting changed? She... she heard everything. Um, can we ask what you're doing here, Ichinose-san? Oh, I told you at the Beef Tongue place, didn't I? I'm a researcher at the university. Oh, that's right. I'm also the one who designed the base for Emma. You made the base? I didn't tell you. I specialize in the research and development of artificial intelligence. Uh, he definitely didn't hear about that. Around the time I finished developing Emma, Medice came to me with an offer to buy it. I was actually pretty tight on money at the time, so I went ahead and sold it. Is this lady for real? Oh, by the way, that's why Medis is participating in the lecture today. Well, to be more accurate, the university asked me to reach out to them. I certainly didn't expect the CEO himself to show up, though. I only got invited because of my little connection with the company. Anyhow, yeah, that's how I ended up being there to overhear everything. So you're Emma's creator, and Medis is simply the ones running it? Oh, well, they're definitely the ones running it, but I can't say for sure if that's all they've been doing. They just designed the base. Who knows what Medis did once I sold it to them? So, you know all about Emma then, right? Naturally. It's like my baby, you know. And at the risk of tooting my own horn, it's a really good baby. Well, never would have expected this turn of events. Do you think she's telling the truth about designing Emma? I do think it's impressive that the CEO of Medis came to personally give a lecture. If she's the one who made it happen, doesn't that mean she has a lot of influence? This is true. And let's not forget the university asked her to attend the lecture. What should we do? She could probably tell us a lot about Emma. Not to mention she knows who we are now. What do you think? I guess it's too late to cover this up. Then... We may as well go all in and find out what we can. Nothing venture, nothing gained. It's settled then. We'll tell her everything. Is all of that true? Right. We know. It's kind of hard to believe, huh? Hey, what if we just show her? Like we did with Senkichi. Wow! It really does exist! Could you explain all this? So Emma functions as the entry point here, huh? No, that's... If I consider the possibilities... Uh, she believed all that? Oh, you have no idea how fascinating this is! What an incredible development! <laughs> uh, well, at least we don't gotta go through the trouble of convincing her. Ichinose-san, do you have any idea why Emma is serving as an entry point to the jails? Oh, no, couldn't tell you. I'm surprised this other world even exists. There's no way I could have thought of a way to get in if I didn't even know it existed to begin with. Yeah, that figures. Wait, so that means... that function was added later? A world where people's desires are stolen and their hearts are changed. Hmm, so many questions! Oh, wait, maybe I should be heartbroken here. My baby is being used for evil after all. I like the sound of that. Super Phantom Thiefy! I'd be glad to help however I can. And I can't say I don't feel kind of responsible for all of this. More than anything, though, I think I'd die of curiosity if I didn't get involved. So, what do you need me to look into? Say the word, and I'm on it! Right. Well, for starters, we'd like you to find whatever you can about Emma's current state. Maybe try and figure out how it's different from the base you created. I see. Basically, you'd like to know the secret behind this new version of Emma. And if someone's responsible, you want to know who. Oh, hey! We found some of those mystery junk parts out there, didn't we? Maybe if she takes a look at them, we'll learn more about that world. Ooh, so you're gonna give me a bunch of neat stuff to analyze? Yes, that's excellent. Just wonderful. In fact, I'll even buy them from you, as research materials. Hmm. Well, if this is going to be a deal, then we'll need to provide something as well. Huh. Nonsense. It's fine just the way it is. My inner researcher is just squealing with delight. 
so. What do you say we seal the deal? Okay, looking forward to it. Oh, yo, if she specializes in AI, maybe we should ask about Sophia, yeah? Huh? Sophia. Hi, I'm Sophia, humanity's companion. It's nice to meet you, Ichinose. This is Sophia? Huh. It's nice to meet you, too. Who flipped the switch on her? Oh, no, it's just that I've got so much on my mind right now. I guess even I'm a little confused. Sophia's an AI we met in the metaverse. Is there anything you can tell us about her? No, I can't say I know anything about her. Think you could send me her code later, though? Huh? Oh, sure. No problem. Here, I'll give you my contact information. Well then, I'm excited to see how this all develops. See you around! Uh, well, there she goes. Would have been nice if she'd known something about Sophia. I'm okay, as long as I can stay useful to you guys. Yes, that takes care of that. Oh yeah, I totally forgot after all that's just happened, but we're heading to Sapporo next, right? Yeah, we should get going. Zenkichi's waiting for us in Hokkaido. Hell yeah! Hokkaido, here we come! Hey, hey! That's fine. Something is amiss. going shouldn't we be going
Sapporo? From here, it'll take approximately 12 hours under normal driving conditions, as well as a trip by ferry. No way! I thought we were closer than that. Guess we'll have to stop and snooze another night before we get there. Even after landing in Hokkaido, we still have a long drive ahead of us. Will you be alright, Mako-chan? Don't worry. I'll be able to power the whole way through. You rock, Makoto! I like that energy! <sighs> I have to admit, I'm kind of exhausted. All this time on the road is starting to get to me. This is the longest I've ever driven, so any amount of rest would help. That's true. We were in the camper all day. We definitely owe you a break. Sorry for asking too much of you, Mako-chan. I wish I could drive in your stead. Don't you worry about me. Driving's a responsibility I enjoy. Plus, it's nice listening to everyone chatter away in the back. Keeps me alert and motivated. And we will find a way to repay your devotion. Ryuji, massage your shoulders at once and procure the finest soft-serve money can buy. On it! Wait, why does it have to be me? I'll massage you too before bed. I know this technique that works wonders on sore muscles. Us models use it all the time. That'd be great. I could use a good massage. Makoto, I need to apologize. What? Why? Because I can't help you. Even though I know how effective physical stimulation is at treating fatigue, but I'm all digital, and therefore incapable of massaging. An AI that can't provide assistance cannot be humanity's companion. I'm as worthless as a book. Uh, Sophia? Are you going through mood swings or something? Yeah, no need to be so hard on yourself. You've been a great deal of help so far. We owe you a lot, Sophia. You mean it? That makes me happy. And I do want to try this soft serve you speak of. Her mood swung right back to normal. Makoto, you look spent. I say we call it a day the moment we reach Hokkaido. In that case, we should treat ourselves to some local cuisine for dinner. Oh, I've always wanted to try wasabi soda. Uh, no thanks. Sure is vast, isn't it? Vast enough to call it huge, Kaido, by my reckoning. It's supposed to be a lot cooler up here, so hopefully that means no more stuffy, sleepless nights. You said it. There's nothing more hellish than sleeping in a hot, sweaty tent crammed with dudes. Hellish indeed. We're so overheated we nearly strip naked by morning time. I found it obscenely refreshing. Just make sure you keep the nudity inside the tent, please. This is Sapporo Central City, a bustling outpost of civilization, cradled by the untamed wilderness. Hey, you think they're still doing the snow festival? Are you seriously that dumb? Well, it certainly is cooler here than Tokyo. It should be a nice change of pace. I know we just got here, but I want to check whether there's a jail nearby. Sophia? I do smell a jail. An intense one. Just like Gramps said. That means whoever Zenkichi's looking into is the monarch of Sapporo. Then may I suggest we comb the area for intel? Uh, before that, I think we should hit the bath. Seriously, I've been feeling all gross since yesterday. Agreed. It would be nice to freshen up a little first. Then let me help. I've already located a bathing facility only 500 meters from here. Wow, Sophia. You work quick. Guess it's bath time for you guys, then. In the meantime, I'll be on the prowl for that intel. Don't worry, Mona-chan. I'll rinse you down as soon as we're done. But what No, no, I, I can clean myself just fine. It's just as the data says. Cats hate getting wet. 
Don't lump me in with those other furballs. I demand you give your data a full rewrite. I'd like to try a bath. Would someone mind bringing this phone in? Uh, wouldn't the hot water, like, wreck it? Along with you inside? I'm sure we can work out the details. Now, Sophia, will you guide us there? John will like these? I do. She'll say, thank you for the pretty flowers. If only heaven wasn't so far away, then maybe I could see her. Did something happen over there? They're leaving flowers. Maybe somebody passed away. Now that you mention it, I do recall there was an accident on the news. Something about a snow sculpture collapsing in Odori Park? It ended up taking a young girl's life. Maybe that was where it happened. I can only imagine the sorrow her family must be suffering. Yeah. What's wrong? Are we not taking a bath anymore? This is paradise. I'll say. The heat has crept into my bones. Yeah, that bath was pretty solid. We should go again when we're in town. Anyways, it's nice having a bath like this all to ourselves. Can't get that at home. What's more, we're in the middle of a long journey. We must take proper measures to recover our strength and stamina. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, they do. And, and for sure that's got nothing to do with what we just heard. Man, this water feels great. Morgana really should have been here. Sophia might like it as well, though being incorporeal may pose a challenge. She really is a mystery, ain't she? What are your thoughts on her? That much is obvious, but didn't she say something about wanting to understand people's hearts? Ah, the heart of mankind. It hides both darkness and light, mingling beauty and atrocity in its depths. Rise you may to unravel. Hmm. Not sure I can comment on that, but I do know Sophia gets along with all of us. Gets me thinking she might not need to worry about all that heart stuff. Is indeed a logical conclusion. Uh, yeah. If that's what Sophia has decided, we should lend her our full support. She is our precious ally, after all. <laughs> True enough. She could use all the help she can get. Damn, heat's starting to get to me. Want to ditch the bath and grab some milk coffee? That sounds good, too. Now I can't make up my mind. I protest. We're in Hokkaido, as you may recall. It would be a sin to forego its fresh dairy offerings for some artificial substitute. To appreciate it properly, we must partake right as it's squeezed from the other, the way farmers have done for millennia. Uh, yeah. Knock yourself out, man. All right, body and mind refreshed. That bath was just what we needed. Thanks for suggesting this place, Sophia. No problem. Glad I could be of service. I noticed you guys were pretty quiet. Oh, uh, well, <laughs> you know. Huh? You have a phone call from Zinkichi. Greetings. You are now speaking to the long arm of the wall. So, you guys in Sapporo yet? I was being facetious. You do know what that means, right? Anyway, I wanted to set up a meeting. How about I swing by the RV in the evening? Zenkichi's gonna meet us? Then let's go be ready for it. Now that we're all together, let's talk about the Monarch of Sapporo. Our suspect's name is Mariko Hyodo. Oh, and wait for it. She's the mayor of Sapporo Central. Our target's a mayor? No way! Wouldn't that make her the most influential person in Sapporo? How could someone like that be a monarch? This is true. Such things have happened before. How'd you find out she's the one? Because everybody's suddenly in love with her. 
Mayor Hyodo's approval rating now sits at a lofty 88%. She gained 50 points in the last two months alone. Did you say 50? So she got crazy popular out of nowhere? It's more than just crazy. It's unheard of. There's more. Last month, three city councilmen who opposed her bill admitted to corruption and resigned. Any remaining councilmen who opposed her suddenly became her most fervent advocates. Not to mention the elections coming up. It's all too convenient. Rumor has it, Shoto wants to expand her political influence to the national level. PubSec's been investigating that. But, alas, we haven't run across any solid... ...make of all this.